My name is Ben Egan and I'm a PhD researcher at the Catholic University of Leuven in Belgium. My PhD topic is uh, workplace diversity in multinational companies and trade union inclusion strategies. I'm comparing uh, Belgium, France and the UK. Uh, at Leuven my supervisor is Professor Valeria Polignano. I'm looking at the way that multinational uh, companies uh, develop their diversity policies uh, in through the organisation uh, and how trade union inclusion strategies interact uh, for workers in France, Belgium and the UK. But I'm specifically looking at uh, multinational companies which are taking public contracts and how that presents difficulties for trade unions in trying to represent those, those workers and sort of maintain or change their uh, bargaining structures. Trade unions certainly have lots of problems and you see from the falling levels of density and activism in many countries across uh, not even just Europe. But there's a, dif there's a difference, I think, between a sort of crisis of trade unionism and the fact that it is faltering in many places. That doesn't, for me, necessarily mean that it's not a valid thing to study because I think, in fact, its decline in itself is, is a thing that is worth studying. and why the, certain, the reorganisation of employment, the reorganisation of, of employers and of companies and of, of, of economies more generally, how that facilitates the decline of trade unions. And also the fact that it isn't uniform. The decline is, 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 is different in different places. Some places it's not decline. There are unions in certain sectors in certain countries which are, continue to grow. And why are they able to while others are not? And why are some able to, to, to defend the position and others are not? So I think that the decline or otherwise of trade unions in a more general sense, I don't think neither makes it more or less valid as, a, as an area to study.